Hello, I'm Garrett Finney, CEO and Chief Designer at Taxa Outdoors. Um, at Taxa, we make mobile human habitats for uh, take you on adventures, to support your adventures wherever they are. We are proudly made in the USA in Space City, um, and it might help to know that I am an architect and a space architect and used to work at NASA. I'm going to give you a tour of the 2020 Mantis now. It's 19 feet long, it's 7 foot 6 wide, fender to fender. When the roof is down, it's seven, 6 foot 10, so it just squeaks inside a garage. When the roof is up, the interior space is as tall as 7 foot 10 and shrinks down to about 5 foot 11. The dry weight is 2882, sleeps four adults, and with hammocks or a rooftop tent, you can add up to four more people. Every taxa habitat is built on top of a powder-coated steel frame that comes standard with a torsion axle and electric brakes. A uh, torsion axle allows each wheel to act independently and requires little or no maintenance and gives you a smooth ride on or off the road. I'd like to show you some samples of the quality materials we use in our habitats. We use powder coated steel for our chassis and skeletons. We use aluminum for other skeletons and parts. Our, the skin of our trailers is a composite aluminum panel with foam in between for significant uh, performance and strength and R value. Our cabinetry is made of uh, Baltic birch, so it's solid core infill. It's really tough as hell. Um, so our cabinetry and our countertops have a high pressure laminate surface. Because of the attention we pay in the design and the premium materials we use, Taxa offers a two-year structural warranty on every habitat and a one-year warranty on the electrical and plumbing and soft goods. I'd like to highlight some of the standards up here. We have a tongue jack that can support 2,000 pounds, oversized. We have a two-inch ball hitch, a seven-pin connector, typical RV, safety chains, a safety brake. I'd like to point out the auto brake. Taxa installs these on all our habitats. Uh, they're great, they carry a three-year warranty. It's a proportional brake controller, but it, because it's wireless, it doesn't require um, any installation in your car. 2020 Mantis has a uh, capacity for two 20-pound bottles of propane, which are hidden behind here. And I'd like to point out that some people put their bikes up here. There are tongue-mounted bike racks. Okay, I'd like to highlight some of the options and features on the driver's side of the Mantis. This is the hatch that covers the uh, tank for your cassette toilet. Very portable, gray black water tank. Good. Slides in and out here. This is your furnace and hot water inlet uh, for airflow. Every Mantis has a shower hookup for hot and cold running water on the outside for the quick disconnect. Down below here is where your gray water tank blade valve is for emptying your water tank. Here's your city water inlet for pressurized water from a, a garden spigot or a campground. Here is your 30 amp power inlet for uh, charging up and powering things at a campground or at your home. This is a solar panel plug. We pre-wire for a portable solar panel. This is the freshwater tank inlets to fill up your 20 gallon freshwater tank if you're camping off the grid. And up here you see the shroud that covers the backside of your air conditioner. This is a little storage compartment for uh, chocks and jacks and anything you want, you can access it from the outside and the inside. All our habitats feature stabilizing jacks. The Mantis has four, one in each corner. Really simple hand crank operation. Some people like to use their cordless drill to do this, to make it even faster. We designed the rear of the Mantis to be really useful. There's a spot to hold a NATO can full of fuel or water. But that same spot is part of a ladder to make it really easy to climb up on the roof to get whatever you have up here. There's two load bars. We're showing you a rooftop tent, but you could have bikes or kayaks or cargo boxes, whatever you want up here. We have handles, so it's easy and strong. One of the really distinctive features of the Mantis is this large opening hatch on the rear. It's over four feet wide this way. Uh, it exists so that you can shove stuff in here for storage. You can be inside looking out at the great view. Uh, and you kind of make a little porch roof for yourself here too. On the campsite side of the Mantis, we have a number of significant features. We have a 12 volt outlet down here for powering lights or charging a laptop or anything you want. Um, 
We have LED lights for nighttime lighting, which are both up here for ambient lighting. And then we have a red night light, which you probably can't see here for a nighttime safety. Um, we have an Overland style eight foot awning. It makes a real outdoor room. You can get mosquito net walls for that if you want. Um, this window often ends up being a food service window. The fridge is right in here. You can self-serve or you can shout to your friends to hand you something to eat or drink through here. I'm inside the Vantis. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to pop up the roof. But before I do that, I wanna say there's about four foot seven clearance here. So even if you stop by the side of the road, you can come in and be comfortable to have lunch or have a nap, something like that. The roof is held down with two latches at either side. Give it a quick push and it pops up. I am just under six feet tall. The roof here is seven foot 11. If you come up here at the very shallowest, I can still stand. So it's 5'11", exactly. The Mantis tent has excellent 360 views and ventilation. I'm gonna unzip this last panel so you can check it out. So we have big windows down here for great views when you're sitting down and great ventilation. But then up top here, you have a 360 view, um, amazing cross ventilation and adjustability for privacy or if the wind's blowing or if a rainstorm is coming from a particular direction, obviously you'd want to shut that side. All right, let's come inside for a tour. I want to show you how this works. Um, you were coming in, there are actually handholds up here that you can do chin ups on or help you come in. Right inside the door are some light switches that control all the exterior lights and the ceiling lights inside. We have little useful holes everywhere. I always attach my keys and a little flashlight here um, when I'm coming in. And then you saw me sitting on this couch before. It's not only a couch, it's a bunk bed. Some simple straps that latch into holes at either end. This will hold me if it wants to. If you have a toddler or an infant, we have a safety net to keep them stretched, strapped in. You don't have to worry about them tumbling off in the middle of the night. The safety net has pouches in it for diapers or stuffed animals or books, whatever you want. So this would be the, uh, the toddler up here, the teenager down there, and the adult back there. Let me make this multi-use feature into its last shape. Put away the bunk net. Drop this down into couch mode. But also, the bottom flips up and latches up. So we don't know what you might store in here. Sometimes we thought of a, a nice bicycle going in here or anything bulky or weird. There's 11 inches of clearance beneath this when it's a, in the couch position. So milk crates and duffel bags, uh, grocery bags, anything you want. All of our habitats have holes similar to like the keychain thing I sold you. There are holes up here that you saw me carabiner the uh, kids first and bunk net into, but you can also stretch bungee nets in the ceiling and have ceiling storage. Um, something, ideas we borrowed from NASA and from the boat world. This is an optional shower and toilet built in, but it's only a shower and toilet when you want it to be. Otherwise it's a counter surface or sometimes a seat when I'm giving tours. Okay, let's set up this privacy enclosure for showering and using the bathroom. Some bungees and carabiners at the top, attached to grommets. And then at the bottom, there are snaps that snap into the cabinet.
And then the bag that you started with fills out the last portion. Keep things waterproof. Now you have a shower enclosure. Okay, let me give you a tour of our this side of our kitchen unit. Starts with upper storage for short things generally, cups and cans and spices. Um, we have a taller space here for paper towels or olive oil or whatever it is you want. There's a 12 volt meter. There's a 12 volt outlet. There's a 110 outlet if you're attached to shore power and have any appliances you want to use. Um, your air conditioner built into the cabinet and runs on shore power as well. Uh, it's five feet wide, it's 21 inches deep. Every Mantis comes with a sink and a two burner stove with an electric sparker. As we go further down, you can see that we use the Baltic birch in all our cabinetry. It's really tough as hell. Um, also made in Texas. Uh, storage for whatever you want. I tend to put papers in here, whatever I'm, whatever I'm bringing along with me. Um, and then a switch panel for lights and fuses and controlling our hot water and heater and furnace by Truma. I want to point out our drawer system, our storage system is based on uh, milk crates. It's both a drawer, but also since many of our customers love to cook outside, you can take practically your whole kitchen outside just by pulling these all the way out and walking outside. On the bottom level is a sealed battery compartment. You have room for up to two Group 27 batteries here. Our power control center and intelligent battery charger is here, uh, controlling many 12 volt circuits and 110 volt circuits um, and trickle charging or rapidly charging um, and maintaining your battery intelligently. Behind this closeout panel is where the Truma hot water heater furnace is hidden. Um, Truma is an amazingly great brand out of Germany and we like to use their products because they're, they're so small and efficient and high quality. I'm not gonna give you a full demo of this, but I wanna show you how to use it. Um, you press the button and the screen comes on. There are two different sets of settings. One is for the temperature of the furnace and the other is for the hot water heater. So if you click on the furnace, you can see that it's off. I dial up the temperature in Fahrenheit that I want and set that. Um, there are a few intelligent controls deeper in there about turning on and off the furnace on a timer system. And then the, the same sort of thing with the hot water dial ever till the hot water is blinking. Click on that, it's off. Um, there's an eco mode which tends to be environmentally friendly. There's a, a normal mode if you're not worried about using uh, your propane. And there's a boost mode in case you want hot water heater as fast as possible. Okay, the Mantis has a galley kitchen. I just showed you the side of the sink and stove. On this side is storage, more of those drawers, milk crates I, I told you about, three of them over here. And over here we have a, a platform where we install, or you can install, a 12 volt fridge or a cooler, it, that's up to you. Um, many of the popular sizes fit in here. Uh, and you can also unstrap it from this compartment really this deck really quickly to use it outside, to use it in your home, to use it wherever you want. Um, this ends up being the food service window. It's at a great height for your kids to run up and ask you to do something for them. Or if you're lucky, you can run up and ask your kids to do something for you. I keep mentioning how we can set up hammocks in here. I wanna show it to you. Uh, in case you have a third kid or a fourth kid or your third kid has a friend. Those same holes I keep mentioning are also good for hanging hammocks. This is a child size hammock. This open space is about seven feet long. I need my other carabiner here. Built in hammock. I've gotten in this. I'm pretty comfortable. I'm 5'11 and weigh 187. Um, so you can set that up here for one kid. You could actually set up another one right here if you want. If you want to hang up a full-size hammock, you can do that in the middle, but you can only get one of them. Here I am sitting in the dinette of the Mantis. It's a table for four-ish, however many you want to squish around here. Um, as, I, as we said before, you can get more and more kits in hammocks and on, on the roof. 
it's a comfortable place to hang out. Uh, you're filming, you're being, I'm being filmed through the open hatch so you can see what a great relationship to the outdoors we have. We have windows on three sides or windows on two sides plus the hatch. Um, this table rotates easily to help you get in and out easily. Uh, here, let me start making this into a bedroom for you. I know some of our customers like to have it in this hangout lounge scenario. I'll point out that this table has a special nesting spot just for that purpose. Um, so there's uh, three bins of storage under here. Let's see if I can do this cleverly. There are three bins plus on the other side. So uh, just like this tabletop can disappear into here, the rest of the bed disappears into there. More storage, plus there's a long spot back there. So I am making an officially sized double bed, which is 54 by 75. <clears throat> I am six feet long. So, if you're at a campsite and the weather's right and you're doing all your cooking out there, you don't ever need this to be a dinette. You just set it up as a, uh, as a bed or as a card playing, game playing platform. Just like all our other units, we have these holes around. We have some bungee nets up here storing stuff. It's a quick way to clean up your room or be organized. Um, and everything's in reach. We have uh, ambient lighting that you can't see during daylight. It's up here. Um, and over here we have a reading light for those adults in bed. And we have a secret cell phone storage charging station. Back here, there's a, a USB outlet in here to charge up your 